This is Colin Fitzgerald with Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky. We're going to look at a 2020 36 BHQ Saber Cobalt Fifth Wheel by Forest River. It's a four slide mid bunk model. So, we're going to look at some features of this one. Now, this has changed a little bit. Um, the colors you can see is it's got a gold color, even the accent lights in the front got a, a yellow color to it. So, a little bit of change there. Um, I'm going to try to point out some things that have changed recently. Uh, if you looked at a lot of these, you know things in the RV industry change pretty frequently, but you can see 36 BHQ is the floor plan. So we're going to go inside. We're going to go to our right, and that's where our uh, main bedroom and bathroom will be. So upon entering, you enter in this hallway here. To the left is our loft, and then again, straight ahead is our uh, master, master bedroom and our bathroom. So we're going to go straight ahead to the bedroom. So the bedroom closet at the front, our bed slide, our first slide we'll encounter is here in the bedroom. So at the, the bed itself, it's a king bed option, uh, nightstands on both sides of the bed there, windows as well. There are two reading lights also. A nice accent wall at the head of the bed. Uh, there is two ACs on this unit. One AC is here in the bedroom, you can see that there, but they, both are ducted. Um, so two ducted air conditioners on this. As far as space in the bedroom, there's space on both sides of the bed. Uh, there is a lot of space at the foot of the bed. There's a set of drawers here for additional storage. There's also a TV hookup right there. You can mount that TV to the wall or set it on top of these drawers. Window there with a nightshade. Here at the closet. So this has kind of changed. Um, if you've looked at other videos or other units, uh, Sabre has changed this. I like this. It's it's a more, I guess, a functional multi-use. This is designed so it, those of you that maybe want a combo washer dryer, you can set that in there and you can easily access and load that without having to come at an angle. Um, previous designs of this closet, these were two big doors centered in the middle and that kind of made it hard if you had a washer dryer. It was on, one was on one side, one was on the other and then it made it difficult because you had to turn them at a weird angle. So if you've never seen one, that may not, that may not make sense. You may not care, but uh, that's the idea. If you don't care about washer and dryers, it doesn't matter. It's just like a regular closet at that point. Uh, you can just slide this in that out of the way. And again, you've got a standard, you know, closet set up here. Let me turn this light on. Standard closet set up with a big rod across. Um, then the storage in the front and then uh, storage across. Now, if you want a split unit instead of the combo, that is still possible. There's the washer hookup there, dryer hookups over here. That's how it was originally. Um, and they still are doing that, obviously. But it was, again, it was not conducive to using of any type of combo unit. So that's the, the reason for the redesign. Seems to be a good reason to me, and it is functional. So that's that door there again. You can open it right up. All right, so that is the bedroom here. We're gonna go back out. There's a door to close the, the bedroom off if you want. There's a window here in the hallway. Just trying to add some natural light. One thing to notice on these, uh, they call these zebra shades. So it's kind of a dual day night shade. Um, you can tell as I'm rotating it, there's a day shade, there's a night shade, so you can kind of do whatever you want. Um, I'm gonna go slow there so you doesn't mess you up, but you can see that that's how it works, or there's the window. Just a demo of that. Across from that, your bathroom. You also notice, I haven't pointed this out yet, some of the colors, they're using like a black color. It was a more stainless color. Again, a small detail, you might not know or care, but that's what they're doing oh, with this new color scheme. So, in our bathroom, sink, Medicine cabinet over there, shower, and then linen closet to the left. So I'm gonna to try to explain each of these a little bit. I've got a foot flush toilet below. You've got storage here, a great linen closet. Open open there and then two doors here. These are massive. I don't really go back several feet here. So nice big linen closet. Uh, great shower. It's a triple sliding glass shower door. It's a nice surround here. It's got shelving built into it a huge skylight saber uses one of the bigger skylights we see so lots of natural light coming in got a seat in it if you need that for shaving or mobility issues whatever it is you got a seat there at the actual sink um, good storage below it's got a little nook there you might could put a small trash can there or something of that nature you got an outlet subway tile backsplash a medicine cabinet with lots of storage in it there's a backlight on that you can see that down there so a nice, uh, well-done bathroom. Back out in the hallway, so again, we talked about the loft, it's a mid-bunk. You got a ladder here, that ladder pops out. Okay, you can get up on the loft if you want. As far as the loft is concerned, 
it's up here um nice big bunk mat there's a grab handle here to make it easy to get up here uh, a little railing here to keep you from falling off storage at the ends there's a outlet and usb charger down there it's got an ac duct that's important uh, it's got a light we got a window nice features kind of hard for me to tell you how tall this is um most adults can get up there and sleep obviously for children it's easier but um, we've camped in this and in this floor plan before we've had adults sleep up there so adults can use it uh, of course children generally want to be up there but there is plenty of space again hard for me to tell you exactly i don't know if it's 18 inches two feet what it is but um, pretty good distance there up top back down to the hallway this is a kind of a clo coat closet what i'd say it is very big closet there's coat hangers in here but just a nice closet here right at the door if you want to store things in here and then here's kind of command uh, center you've got a couple things going on i've got my control oh, my excuse me my monitor panel for my water pump and my tanks i got a thermostat here for this rear air thermostat up, up front for the front air split thermostats which i like uh, control panel here a couple different things going on i got auto level on this so i can access that i got some lighting built into this um awning just a couple of different things slide rooms are in this okay so a couple couple of different things being controlled by that uh, some lights here and then this is part of what's called um, juice pack sabers doing that it's a it's a solar panel package um, don't have any personal experience with it I could, I could give you a salesman pitch i guess but um, it's what it is it's got a solar panel up top it's got this little monitor panel here it's got hookups to the front to keep your batteries charged that's what it is it's called a juice pack so i think saber has some more information about that in their literature I just don't like to speak on things that I, I have not personally used. So that's what that is. Now, for the rest of this, I'm going to come to the very back and let you see this. All right, so it really, it, it's a traditional rear living. Of course, we'll see the mid bunk in a second. But besides that mid bunk, if you walked in this and didn't know that mid bunk was here, again, you would think we're in a traditional rear living unit. But when you turn back to the right, that's where your mid bunk comes into play. So that door has a door that slides and closes it off. It's a barn door style door here at this accent wall. When you go in here, you've got a, a second, it's our second slide we've seen. You got a, a slide in here. It is a big room. Um, a lot of sleeping. I got a little mat. See that mat down there at the bottom that pulls out. You can put it in the floor. This is a jackknife sofa if you want to make it a bed. Of course, that's a bed there. You can lift this thing up and you can pin it in place and you've got a second living room, uh, maybe a man cave or a she cave i don't know whoever whoever wins the battle you can have this but it, it's really it's a multi-use room i've had customers use it as a, a mobile office i've had them use it for pets obviously as a bedroom uh, whatever you want to do you've got a lot of options you can do with this room uh, it's got storage in it it's got a tv hookup so I, technically a mid bunk everybody calls them that but really it's just a, just a second auxiliary room you can do what you want with it so we like that very popular uh, many ways to use it back to the rear again it's just a, a classic rear living kind of like the 32 dpt if you've looked at sabers it's almost identical from here back i've got my table and chairs here nice big windows at my table and chairs as far as the kitchen itself is concerned a solid surface countertop is now standard in sabers so beautiful solid surface countertops little accent light built into the island i've got flush mount sink covers Again, black accents on our fixtures and little hardware and stuff. We love it. I think it looks great. I've got a residential refrigerator. So you've got an inverter on this as well. If you're traveling or you're camping and you lose 110 volt power, not a big deal. Turn your inverter on and you can still have your refrigerator running. So nice big, it's got double, double freezers down here as well. It's a big residential refrigerator. In the island itself, a couple things about it. You got this sink. It's a a farmhouse style sink kind of hard to pick both these up with one hand but you've got these sink covers beautiful uh, sink there and then storage of course in the island itself across from that stove and oven you got that glass top stove cover i like that because again if you're not using that stove top that's just more countertop space so practical feature there microwave above here's your pantry you got a motion light in there if i can get it to turn on there it goes motion light got got a great pantry here floor to ceiling storage they're, they're deep still wide too so a good size pantry and then back to the living room area so entertainment centers here you got your fireplace uh you got your audio controls you've got your tv that tv pulls out 
don't know if I can do it with one hand. Let me see if I can do it. Pulls out, and you've got a really good area back here for storage. Uh, maybe you want to store games, uh, some type of gaming system, uh, whatever you want. You've got a nice, nice storage area back there, and then above you've got, again, more just general storage up here. Now, what I like about this, I've got my theater seats directly across from that TV, so it's easy to watch TV. You're not at some weird angle. Uh, those do recline. They do have heat. They do have massage. Talk about Thomas Paine, so good quality theater seats there. Again, lots of big windows here. If you've got a view or plan on having a view, you will be able to utilize it. At the back, uh, more sleeping space, trifold sofa. So if you need more sleeping space, um, of course you already got a ton, but if you need more, you've got it. And then end tables on both sides of that uh, sofa. There's outlets on both sides, USB charging ports, uh, USB charging ports everywhere in this unit. Uh, lots of lights, some on the wall, some on the bottom side of cabinets, but lots of lights. There's also accent lighting you'll see along the crown molding at the top. Overall, it's, it's really pretty uh, with all the lights in the unit. Little fixtures there above the kitchen island as well. A ceiling fan, and there's our second air conditioner there. So that is the interior of this unit. We'll go back outside. So walking up, as you saw, they're using the uh, more ride step above steps on it. Actually got a custom step, says Saber in it. Really looks good. As far as outside storage is concerned, we'll show you the big pass-through in a second at the front. This is an additional storage compartment. It's got an outside fridge in it, outside TV hookup there to the left, a little light, and just in general, it's more storage, so a nice addition there. Uh, we do have a big electric awning on here. Outside speakers underneath it as well. So this has four-point um, electric auto level. Little leash latch, leash latch, excuse me, for your pets. You can hook them up there if you want. Going around to the back, there's an outside grill hookup right here. There's a little quick connect down there. Got a ladder on the back, so you don't have to carry one with you. You can easily get on your roof. You've got a hitch receiver back here. Lots of things you can do with that. It's prepped. You could mount a wireless camera up there if you choose to do that. 50 amp service, of course, with our two airs, washer dryer prep. Again, four slides on this unit, three on this side, one on the other. 10 gallon gas and electric water heater. And here's your pass through compartment. It's, it's a very big compartment up here at the front. Pass through all the way across. Love the docking center. Uh, again, switch to a darker metal look. Uh, you got black tank flush, wind rising hookups, TV hookups. Uh, and um, antifreeze hookups, winterizing valves, whatever, all that stuff right here. A lot more convenient than having to crawl underneath and, and find all that. So good job by Saber, um, kind of organizing all that together there. Under the front, there is additional storage right there. You've got a mini control pad for your leveling jacks here, and then the main control pad, of course, inside on the touch panel. And like we talked about earlier, front cap's got these accent lights in it. Look really good. Uh, with the decals especially that gold color we like that so 2020 36 bhq saber cobalt fifth wheel by forest river it's a four slide mid bunk model they got auto level on it we got theater seats of course the mid bunk with a loft two airs a pantry and that's here at arrowhead camper sales in mayfield kentucky